So I recently graduated college and moved all of my clothes back to my parents' house. And at this point, most of my favorite clothes are in New York City because I've been slowly moving there over the past two years since my boyfriend moved there in 2021. And I'm also in the process of moving there myself. Also, if this sounds confusing, I'm also confused. This whole stage of my life has been really confusing so far, but I still wanted to give you some fashion content while I was there. So I decided the best thing I could do without my New York clothes present is to style my non-favorite clothes from my parents' house, but with additional fashion challenges is added in. Let me know if I flopped or if you like them. <laughs> okay, hi. Today is texture day, meaning the challenge for today is to create an outfit that incorporates four very prominent different textures. I wrote them all on this whiteboard. I did re-download Pinterest and make a specific Pinterest board just for this. I actually really like Pinterest. The only reason I deleted it is because I constantly have no iPhone storage. I'm just gonna gather any items that are kind of similar to the one shown here. I actually never wore this leather jacket, so I wanna try to style this. So that's leather. For this outfit, I repeated an outfit formula that I actually use very often. If you've heard of the phrase, same person, different font, this is essentially same font, different outfit. Jacket is both very fitted and cropped, which is why I haven't worn it. I generally avoid fitted jackets. Loose baggy jeans to contrast the tightness of the jacket. Belt to match the color of the jacket and normally I would do like a tank top or a bodysuit with this outfit but due to the constraint of my current location a blouse was the best I could do. It didn't feel good. The mobility was very poor. This was much less awkward looking in my head. I'm gonna try a, a different shirt. This one is much thinner. It's a more silky material so I think this will be a better bet. Attempt two was definitely more successful. I still didn't like it very much but it had less of a bulky appear than the first outfit and I had more mobility. I don't like the tightness. So I tried again with the lace tank top which I like but I generally don't like to show the front of due to the sheerness of it. The constraint with this top is I don't feel comfortable unless the front is constantly covered. This does look significantly better using the lace tank. I'm still not a huge fan. I actually do think that if it was a more loose fitting leather jacket like the one that I usually use I would have actually really liked it. I know I switched it up a lot just now but I think I have the final version of what I want to do. The funniest part is this is so so different than what I originally wanted to do but it includes a lot of the elements from the Pinterest board. The final textures for this outfit are faux leather, lace, a satin type material, and whatever you would call this, I guess it's the best way to describe it is like a canvas. I'm still debating on whether to do the pearls or silver jewelry. This was the correct decision. I just realized I do that a lot. I've been trying really hard to make these backgrounds cute, but I'm in my boyfriend's apartment, so it's kind of inherently a little bit ugly. <laughs> the next challenge was to style something unexpectedly, but the caveat to this challenge is that I can't use any scissors and I can't alterate anything in a permanent way. I started with two ideas. One was something that I saw on TikTok that I wanted to try to replicate. And in case that didn't work, I had a backup idea. So this bodysuit is kind of like my backup plan. Okay, good, this is recording. <laughs> Gabe got panicked for a bit. The first idea involved folding a dress or a skirt in a certain way so that you could turn a long dress or skirt into a short dress or skirt. And this only involved a pair of biker shorts, which I had with me conveniently. My first attempt was with a satin midi skirt. I actually really like this skirt. I use it all the time. I really liked how the shape turned out, but the problem was that it was really, really, really short. If I bent over, I would absolutely be flashing everything. The maxi dress ended up did the maxi dress did end up... The maxi dress did... Why is this so hard? I never have trouble speaking until I'm recording. So the maxi dress did end up having a good length with this hack, but the problem was that the shape was really weird. It was very much giving tent vibes. I actually got a really good deal on this bodysuit. It was on clearance for only $8. It is, I think, the most comfortable bodysuit I own. But the problem is that due to the strings in the front and the V-neck, it gives very strong 2017 vibes. It looks outdated, which would not be a problem if I liked that aesthetic, but I don't. My initial inclination was to cut the strings in the front but since this challenge says that I can't, you know, the rules that I made up myself that say I can't, I decided to tuck the strings into the front of the bodysuit and then I flipped it around so that the V-neck was in the back. To style the bodysuit, I ended up resorting to an outfit formula that I use all the time. This might actually be for the best because the dress and the skirt wouldn't have covered up all the random bruises I get from knocking 
over. So I ended up with the plain black bodysuit, a pair of wide leg pants, a black belt to match the black in the bodysuit with all accessories being black, a pair of kitten heels, and the same color hardware in the entire outfit. In this case, all of the medals are gold. I was planning on recording the next challenge for the rest of the day, but I'm so tired I'm taking a nap. This is it for today. <laughs> This brings us to the challenge that I have been dreading the most, color. Can you see this? I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> Today's challenge is to style at least two different bold colors in the same outfit. And I also can't use something that has a pattern in it, like a floral that has two different colors in it, because I think that's cheating. Okay, so here's how I'm defining color. These are inarguably neutrals. The one that is debatable in my opinion is blue jeans. Technically blue is obviously a color, but we tend to style blue jeans as neutrals in this stylistic world. Most of my outfits have black or white or black and white in them. If you watch my videos, you'll start to notice that this, this occurs a lot. I did buy this, I would say it's like a, like a maroon burgundy colored leather jacket. This was definitely the item that I wanted to style. By the way, this was on clearance for $30. If you haven't gone to Macy's for the clearance, would highly recommend because they, they have, they have some good stuff on clearance there. I actually went on Pinterest again. But I also added a bunch of outfits that included a leather jacket. By the way, if you have trouble styling color, this is like a huge, massive, amazing tip. Let's say you're having trouble styling maroon. Just search maroon color palette on Pinterest and it'll pull up a color palette of all of, of and it'll pull up, and it will pull up a color palette with colors that look good with maroon. And it's way easier than kind of making guesses like, oh, will this thing look good? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of struggle to write on this board and film it at the same time. Oh no, it's shaking. This is the blueprint. You might have guessed this already, but the goal of this exercise is to find the intersection of the colors that complement maroon and the colors that I like. Lucky for me, the colors that complement maroon according to the color palette are colors that generally lie in 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 the um in the what's the word for this i actually remember that i had this bag in my closet i got this when i was around 14 and i knew immediately that it would look really good with this color because the two tones complement each other the question is what do i do for the rest of the outfit <laughs> look what i accidentally did to my forehead normally for this if i had all the clothes that i had that I have in New York, I would definitely go for a white jean or a beige jean. I'm pulling inspiration from a picture from my Pinterest board. It's the one with the white silk blouse. I had, I had three different, I had three different attempts before I actually arrived at the final outfit, which I actually really liked. First attempt, I tried a pair of taupe trousers. I actually really like the color combination. The trousers were baggy and also the top of the outfit with the leather jacket and the blouse also looked a little bit baggy because there were so many layers. It just looked too baggy overall. So plot twist, at this point I go on to say that I tried two different pairs of pants after this, a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans. And initially I actually thought that the blue jeans looked better, but now looking back on it in retrospect, I actually think that the black looks better. But I think both look okay. Let me know what you think though. Do you like one pair significantly? significantly better than the other. The problem with this outfit is that these are very much like a standing jean. I don't know how long I'd actually be able to wear this in public just because if you sit down in the jeans, it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> They're very flattering. I love how they look, but they are they're, they're not practical. My battery is flashing, so I just have one final comment before I end this video. If you're interested in more personal type videos, I would highly recommend my vlog channel. So if you're interested in that, all the information is in the description. I said that weird. <laughs>